Okay, so this is a little basic information for 13.7, the multiplication principle and permutations for advanced algebra trig. Uh, the multiplication principle says that um, if you are uh, given a task, given a task of, of a sequence of choices, sequence of choices, so let's say you've got like, you know, choice number one, and then you got choice number two, and then you got choice number three, blah, 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 all the way to choice uh, N. If there are A ways that you can pick choice A, or sorry, choice one, and B ways you can pick choice number two, and then C ways you can pick choice number three, and then I don't know, D choices for choice number N. Well, the multiplication principle says that the total ways you can pick all these choices is to multiply them up to give you the total number of ways. All right, this is a this is a basic uh, pattern that 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 helps us uh, learn how to count things a little bit better. So take a look at this example over here. This is the prefix menu example, right? So notice that um, on a prefix menu, you've got uh, two choices for the first course. You can pick the soup du jour or the the, uh, the Caesar salad. For the second choice, you have a few things that you can pick from here. You can either pick uh, the, the the lamb, the trout, or the steak. And then for desserts, you've got three choices, the cake, the tiramisu, or the sorbet. So the question is, how many different meals sort of can be made from this menu? How many different options are there, right? Well, the first choice is there's two options. The second choice there is one, two, there was three options for the, for the second choice. And then for the third choice, there's also three options. So the grand, number, the grand total of number of choices, number, number of meals that can be made is just two times three times three which is 18. And that is an application of the multiplication principle. The other thing we talked about is the permutation theorem. Uh, the permutation theorem says when you have n objects arranged r at a time, if uh, a couple of things have to be true first, one, uh, the objects um, are distinct. Uh, that means that they are all different. The objects are distinct. Um, there's no repeats, no repeating, and uh, three, the most important is that the order is very important. Okay, so if we have n objects and we're choosing r of them at a time, uh, the object has to be distinct, no repeating, and the order is very important, then we have a formula we can use, uh, n, p, r is just n factorial over n minus r factorial. So let me give you an example, right? Let's say you have uh, five people, uh, five people, and you want to line up three of those people. Okay, well if you line up, so you got person A, B, C, D, and E, right? Well you could have uh, C, D, E, or you could have D, C, E. Those are different, right? Even though they're the same people, the order is important. So from the five people, we want to permute three of them. So that is five factorial all over five minus three factorial, which is five times four times three times two factorial all over since five minus three is also two factorial, that goes away. So I have five times three, sorry, five times four is 20 times three is 60. There are 60 different ways that I could do that, all right? Well, there you go. That's basically what we did today um, for uh, Monday in 13.7 for advanced algebra trig.